Hey, it's Matt, your average gamer, and I've done these videos a couple times before as a switch up from the lightning build since it doesn't work really that well on Melania to use fire to completely obliterate her, and this is on patch 1.08. This is the buffing order, by the way. I'm going to show it again at the end, but we're going to do a lot of damage. I'm going to show you an unsuccessful attempt first, and then this only took about four or five tries, the successful attempt after, because on the unsuccessful attempt, it really highlights the amount of damage that you can do. And it worked out because, you know, there is really only one Melania to fight after all. This is on Journey 5 on this specific character, by the way. So she's got a fair bit of HP, but don't worry, not a huge deal there. This is actually ahead of one of my biggest builds yet. I'm doing a full fire build. We're going to use the magma blades. We're going to use flame pillars, giant fireballs with a lot of damage. That's going to be coming out soon, and I cannot wait. It's one of my best builds yet. It's a full, complete pyromancer and fire build with the magma blades. It's going to be awesome. So definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button if you love overpowered PvE builds and you want to check out that fire build, which is going to be out soon. Now, what we're using here is Burn O Flame. Burn O Flame is fantastic on Melania. The reason it's so good on her and it works so well is because it knocks her down. And as long as you can time it around Waterfowl, which she's usually going to do once or twice, and you're able to dodge it, it does massive damage. She has zero fire resistance, it's highly buffable, and as mentioned, it knocks her down. You get this from the Fire Giant's Remembrance, and it really is a good incantation with a lot of power. It's boosted by the Giant Seal, which in this case we're dual wielding because it's going to give us a total of 40 to 45 percent with both in each hand. They do stack. If you don't have a second one though, you can always use the Jellyfish in the left hand. It does work for this incantation as it does with pretty much all spells and incantations for an extra 20 percent, about the same as the Giant Seal. I think the Giant Seal edges it out slightly, but they're pretty close. And if you time it right and you're really careful, a lot of her attacks are going to go over your head with the animation. Other than her ground slam and waterfowl, they're mostly going to miss you while you get the chance to knock her down and do massive fire damage. So what we're using here is the dual giant seals for the boost. We had the mushroom crown and black dumpling on, kindred of rot's exaltation, godfrey icon, ritual swords talisman, Fire Scorpion Charm, and the Flame Tear. The Consecutive Attack Tear doesn't boost this. It was in there for the build I've been working on. We have Fetid Pots and Boluses to proc our poison and heal us. And as you can tell here, there's our stats. They're all faith-based. Everything's faith-based. This is going to be the stats that we're using for the full build too. Because awesomely enough, the Magma Blades, the Ash of War pretty much scales solely off of Faith, so you can do massive damage with them too. We're going to show that, along with a whole bunch of other things in the upcoming video. But this is our stats at 150. Kind of a glass cannon build, but absolutely effective against Melania and can completely destroy her. It's a very good way of beating her. So what we're using here first is we're going to drink our Flask of Tears, proc the Black Dumpling if you want that extra 10% for a minute when you go mad, then Blessing Spoon and Golden Vow, and then last but not least, the shorter term buffs like Flame Grant Me Strength and the Mushroom Crown Kindred Rot's Exaltation proc with the Poison so that we get the shorter duration buffs last right before we cast. And then you're going to do massive damage because this does knock back, it knocks her down, and she has zero fire resistance, so she takes a full amount of fire damage as well. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you love overpowered PvE builds. There's a ton of awesome builds on my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you guys there.